So let's know and discuss what are space regainers and what are the functions of a space regainers. What are various types of space regainers? So space regainers mainly, as the name suggests, they aim in regaining the lost space. Now, why is the space lost? Sometimes due to early loss of the primary teeth. For example, if there is an early loss of the primary first molar or the primary second molar and this will cause the, uh, the teeth which are present aside or adjacent to tip into the spaces which are created by the early loss of the primary molars. Then this will also hamper in the eruption of the succinous teeth or the premolars into the oral cavity. So they will lead to the loss of space. So generally space maintainers are required for the purpose but if the space is lost we will go uh, for the space regainers. So the space required and the space which is present is calculated by the means of the mixed dentition analysis, the moist mixed dentition analysis, the model analysis and then we will know for example if the space which is required for the eruption of the teeth is lesser than the space which is required or which is present in the oral cavity then we will go for the space regaining. So there are various methods of space regaining or various uh, these uh, appliances which are used for the space regaining procedures. They can be either fixed appliances or the removable appliances. Then under the fixed appliances comes the herbs appliance or the open coil space regainer. Now what is done is basically we band or pinch a band into the molar or the permanent molar which is present in the oral cavity or which is present adjacent to the space which is present. This permanent molar is pinched a band or sometimes prefabricated bands are also placed in the permanent molar. Then we solder a buckle tube into the permanent molar, the buckle side of the band. Then we will put a coil or the wire inside the buckle tube and we adapt the wire to the distal surface of the adjacent teeth. This will help in the space regaining procedure after the activation. This is basically an open coil space regainer which we can see. Then is a jack screw space regainer. In the jack screw space regainer, we take, uh, there is a jack, there is a screw, there is a lock, there is a um, molars or two molars are banded and after that band pinching we attach the buckle tube to the bands and then we place a lock and the screw and there will be a shaft or the threaded shaft which is present inside the lock and the screw and by activation of this we can regain the space which is lost. This is a jack screw space maintainer. Then we go come for the graver space regainer. The Graver's case regainer generally it has a U-shaped assembly, right? Uh, there is a U-shaped assembly which it will be directly fabricated into the oral cavity itself. It does not require the cast for the fabrication. So this is a simpler method or an easier and a quicker method. And directly the U-shaped assembly will band the tooth and uh, the U-shaped assembly will be fitted to the mesial end of the band. And in the U-shaped assembly, there will be a U-shaped wire and the coil spring, which will help in the activation and the regaining of the space. This is a U-shaped assembly. We can see that on the distal portion of the primary uh, second molar, we can see a U-shaped wire which is extending into the shaft and then there will be coils which will be attached and placed on the first permanent molar. Then is the lip bumper. It's another type of space regainer which is generally used in the manipulated teeth and this will be fabricated inside the flange or the manipular flange which is present in the retainer or the space retainer process. There will be acrylic flange into the lip bumper will be fabricated. This will prevent the lip from uh, pushing back the teeth and will relieve the lip pressure. Then is a transpalatal arch type of space regainer. 
This is generally used in the maxillary arch.